I will be reading Incident by Natasha Trathaway. We tell the story every year, how we peered through the windows, shades drawn. Though nothing really happened, the charred grass now green again. We peered from the windows, shades drawn, at the cross trussed like a Christmas tree, the charred grass still green. Then we darkened our rooms like lit hurricane lamps. At the cross trussed like a Christmas tree, a few men gathered, white as angels in their gowns. We darkened our room and lit hurricane lamps, the wicks trembling in the fonts of their oil. It seemed the angels had gathered, white men in their gowns. When they were done, they left quietly. No one came. The wicks trembled all night in their fonts of oil. By morning, the flames had all dimmed. When they were done, the men left quietly. No one came. Nothing really happened. By morning, the flames had dimmed. We tell the story every year. Okay, so this poem was written by a woman named Natasha Trathaway. And in this poem, she's describing her actual life. Um, it's a culmination of poems that tell a story about how she grew up in um, a rural southern town in, um, you know, during the civil rights movement. And she discusses in this poem the memories she has of um, KKK uh, members burning a cross on her front yard. Um, the pantanum of, is, oh, excuse me, start over. Uh, so she uses pantomim in this um, in this poem, and that's like the repetition of lines, as well as she doesn't use like a regular rhyme or anything like that. Um, she uses imagery such as uh, cross trust like a Christmas tree, and men gathered white as angels in their gowns. Um, things like charred grass turns green again and these are all things that I think really show like the perspective of the child. Natasha Trathaway actually grew up in a um, biracial home and her parents were actually illegally married and this is something that was common in the south um, where a white woman and a black man would be married um, but that's not, that wasn't legal at the time. Um, so, uh, groups like the KKK and other race, racially charged, um, people would do things like this, uh, like burn crosses. Uh, I found this poem very interesting because, um, uh, just simply for the line, we tell the story every year, um, and then nothing really happened. I question whether she means nothing really happened as in nothing really happened on her yard or nothing really happened as we did nothing for uh, the incident or we did nothing to stop it or we did nothing to prevent it from happening again. Um, I find it interesting because it's very applicable, applicable to today and uh, what's happening with the Ferguson movements and what's happening still in the South, which is insane. <coughs> <coughs> and this brings back this, um, this notion of nothing really happened. Um, and by the morning, all the flames had dimmed. And we tell the story every year. It's really just another way of saying these problems aren't going away. Now, this poem was written recently, actually. It was written in 2006. And it, even though it's a look back on the very beginnings of the civil rights movement and things that were happening to real people, it's still crazy how applicable it is today and how... And how we do tell this story every year, you know, in history classes and in movies and in protests about racially charged crimes. 
Um, just recently, we had the conviction of Dylan Roof, who, you know, went into a church and killed only black people. And we told the story, and then nothing really happened. We still see incidents of racially charged hate crimes all over the country, whether it's from African American to Muslim targets. Um, so this poem is actually really interesting, and I think that it is kind of like a um, looking glass, really. Uh, Natasha Trathaway does a really great job of giving this image of, you know, these things that are happening from her perspective of a child that really happened in her life. And then also when you read it again, you see another form of what's happening today. And so it's a very interesting poem and I think it does a lot and it describes a really, really hard time that people like Natasha Trathaway went through, um, which sparked anger and sparked this notion of that we have to do something. Um, so hopefully nothing really happens. I hope something did happen. And even though we tell the story every year, uh, we should still be looking out for racially charged um, hate crimes and and doing something about them. So that was my analysis on Natasha Trathaway's The Incident.